Our position by position breakdown continues with running back coach Thomas Hammock. Thomas, can you get Monte Ball ready for this season opener? <laughs> Good question. How's that, huh? uh, you know, I think the biggest thing uh, for us to do is take it step by step and day by day. Uh, and just go through the process of, of getting ready for the grind of a season and, uh, you know, really looking forward to, you know, continue to progress and as we get into game planning for Northern Iowa, uh, certainly get the reps that we need to, to be ready to go September 1st. What impresses you the most about Monte's work ethic? You know, the one thing about Monte is, uh, and I, I tell him this all the time, when you practice the right way, right. he plays the right way. Uh, and that's something that I think he's really took and take pride in uh, is the way he practices knowing that uh, the end result is going to be come game day you know when he's ready to go what have you seen in James White that you've liked you know he's done a lot of things that I've liked I mean he stepped up as a leader uh, as a playmaker as a tough guy I mean he's playing behind his pads he's running physical uh, he's making guys missing space uh, he's doing all the things uh, that you want uh, from a starting tailback uh, you know, and, you know, we have a, you know, a good situation where, you know, at, at this point, uh, he's going to be a guy that, you know, can come in and, and make plays, uh, you know, but a year from now, uh, I can see him being a guy that, you know, certainly lead this team moving forward. Is there a role for Melvin Gordon? There's always a role. Uh, you know, the thing he has to do is go out and earn it. And, and what I mean by that is, uh, if you want to carry the ball 10 times, you know, if you get 10 carries in the game, you get 70 yards, then you, you continue to earn more. Uh, and that's the thing he needs to continue to realize is uh, the more you earn, the more you get. Uh, and that's something that he's, he's certainly out here practicing for. Jeff Lewis hasn't gotten a chance as far as a lot of reps in games. What do you see out of, of Lewis and where can he help? You know, I, I think Jeff is a guy that, you know, he's going to be steady for us. I mean, uh, he's really out here competing hard. And, uh, you know, I, and, and the thing in camp that you try to do is you try to get everybody a chance to run behind the one offensive line, and that's what we've been trying to do is mix it up so it's never a situation where, uh, you know, you feel like you haven't had an opportunity to run behind the one line. And then obviously we evaluate the tape and, and grade the tape uh, and let the, you know, let the production speak for itself. Fonte Jackson was injured in the spring. You've gotten your hands on him now in the fall. Where is he in terms of his own development? You know, he is a tough runner. Is that right? He's a tough runner. Uh, and I know you wouldn't think it, uh, you know. He's not that big. He's not the biggest guy, but he is really, really physical. He's got good feet. Uh, and I think the thing that he brings to the table is, you know, when them guys watch him run and, and, and watch him compete, uh, they know they need to stay in their A game. Uh, and we got great, healthy competition. And uh, it, it's re been really fun working with these guys this year. Losing uh, Brady Ewing hurts, right? and he was, he was a quality fullback. Give us uh, some idea where you are at that position. You know, we, we are in the process of, of developing the fullback position uh, with Sherrod Cadigan really stepping up uh, and being that physical type blocker that we need. And I tell you, Derek Watt has been a blessing in disguise uh, to get him in a short amount of time. Uh, and what he's been able to do in, in these past four or five practices has been, you know, nothing short of phenomenal. So. Uh, I'm just waiting for him to continue to study the playbook, continue to learn the plays, and continue to understand, you know, where he needs to be uh, in, in regards to the defense. Thomas, you getting good leadership in this group from the upper class? Great leadership. I mean, you know, Monte, James White, uh, I don't think you can ask for two better leaders. Uh, and, and, the, and the reason being is they are, you know, two of the hardest working guys on the team. Um, so when you got two of the hardest working guys on the team, uh, for a, a freshman coming in or a kid being recruited, you look at that and say, if, if those guys are working this hard, I definitely need to step up my game uh, and work even harder. I guess I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about the offensive line because you've lost some really quality players over the last two seasons. What do you think? Where, where is that O-line today? You know, I think they've really grown since the spring. Uh, the spring was a, you know, a, a get to know, know you session. And uh, this fall camp, those guys are really gelling together. Uh, they, they have an understanding of, you know, what the man next to him is doing, which is the most important thing uh, for an offensive line, and they blocking their butt off. I mean, um, you know, our defense sees our plays every day, uh, and, and yet still we get out there and, and, and they're physical, uh, changing the line of scrimmage and, 
And I tell my backs, if they doing that, we need to make that last guy miss. Getting anxious to see how this all falls into place in the opener? Definitely, you know, but we still got some time where we need to uh, put the work in. You know, we got, I think, 16 more practices uh, before the first game, and we need to take advantage of every opportunity uh, to get better uh, and to make, make our offense as, as, uh, as good as it can be. Great talking to you again. Good luck this year. Hey, thank you. For Thomas Hammock, I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for watching our position-by-position -position breakdown on the Badgers on uwbadgers.com.